They were married up at the church a short time later. A very empty church. There was no one there, except the vicar and the five of us, and the vicar's wife sitting at the back. At home, I tried never to be alone with Molly. I didn't know what to say to her anymore. I tried to avoid Charlie too. On the farm, I took every opportunity that came my way to work on my own. Mom <coughs> Cox was always sending me on some errand or another, and I always took my time about it. It was while I was making a delivery to Hatherley Market one day that I came face to face with the war for the first time. about the bush. I shan't tell you it's all tickety-boo out there in France. There's been enough of that nonsense already in my view. I've been there. I've seen it for myself. I'll tell you one thing straight. It's no picnic. It's hard slog. There's only one question to ask yourself about this war. Who would you rather see marching through your streets? A slut or the hun? Because mark my words, ladies and gentlemen, they'll be here, marching through, burning your houses, killing your children, violating your women. They beat them bravely, the Belgium, swallowed her up in one gulp, and they've taken a fair slice of France too. So if we don't play them our own game, they'll gobble us up as well. Well, do you want the hunt here? Do you? No! Shall we knock the stuffing out of them then? Yes! Good. Very good. Then we shall need you. 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 And you too, my lad. Your king needs you. Your country needs you. And all the brave lads out in France need you too. And remember one thing, lads, and I can vouch for this. All the ladies love a soldier. <laughs> So, who will be the first brave lad to step up and take the king's shilling? I'm looking for men with hearts of oak. Lads who love their king and country. Boys who hate the lousy hun. Oh, good lad. Come on, son. <coughs> you go and fight. It's every man's duty to fight when his country calls. That's what I say. Go on. You ain't a coward, are you? Joe, I'll go to France to keep the stuffing out of those lousy Germans. <laughs> 